Hello again. Uh, it has been uh, something, something today. Uh, I think it's uh, April the twenty, twenty, twenty-three. Uh, it's. Uh, I was to the dentist today, and uh, it was like a consultation to uh, talk to the dentist what to do with my teeth that is uh, is glue uh, glue into my old teeth and uh, it's coming loose now it start to cracking and uh, the dentist say that uh, they the teeth was very bad and uh, uh, she say that uh, if uh, when they should x-ray it should show that it was rotten under under my fake teeth, and uh, I ask how to to uh, get uh, other new teeth there. I say how to pull them out, and she say that uh, they are cutting them. Uh, cutting the old teeth and pull it out and uh, and then uh, see if it's something to build on uh, then they uh, can give me uh, new uh, the same sort of teeth again but if it isn't uh, it, I have to have this uh, teeth pull into the glass and so I have to think about it how to do it as long as it's not uh, the teeth give me no pain uh, so that's not the problem it's only that I have a fear that is falling off and uh, falling out from my mouth and then I have rotten teeth under under it so it's and uh, you know rotten teeth can go in into the bones and and it's going in a bad that can happen that uh, to get cancer in it so it's a, a hard decision what to do <laughs> and the harder decision comes after I have been to the dentist <laughs> and I I wonder what God and heaven want to tell me about this with the teeth I need to think about it very much uh, I'm going to uh, it's about one and a half week until I'm going back to the dentist and the dentist will x-ray my mouth to see what's going on under there and uh, I know since before that they can't uh, put in uh, titan screws in in my bones because the bones structure is not uh, not good to to place there uh, so like screws and uh, and then i told them that i need to know how much money it will will be to to do all these things that they think they need to do for for me to get new teeth and uh, and they ask uh, is it for a foundation 
But the, the bad thing is that I have hard to do uh, apply for uh, to funds money because I can't uh, concentrate me on those things to uh, apply for it uh, because it's it's not only to apply you I have to ask for some papers also and put them together and then uh, send it in right time for the fonts to to maybe get it and it's it is uh, very hard for me to do this now since i i got this with my brain and i don't have anyone that can help me with it and uh, and the money uh, the economy is very private for me I don't want people to see my bank account and um, and so um, <laughs> it it come something special today when when I sit and wait for the taxi to come and get me there come a, a young man uh, uh, and took me to into the taxi and I don't know what uh, what I was saying, but I I told him that I was single uh, to him, and uh, I don't know what it was. It was in some something I say. I say I'm single, and he looked on the side or side to me, and uh, when he was driving, and he looked so very surprised in his face uh, and he say i am single also and it it seems for me that it was something that was had uh, uh, that he had in his mind from from heaven that uh, it, his wife should come one day and sit in his taxi and uh, and that was me that come and say that I was single and um, I suppose uh, most most men think that uh, an old woman she had a husband so he was very surprised and then he say he liked me and then um, we stop uh, with a taxi in, at my home and he hold my hand. Uh, I didn't hold his arm. He uh, took my hand and we walked together and he asked me to marry me. And, uh, and you know how it is that I have told you. If it's going very fast, then it can be... 98% it can be the devil that hit you in that way. And so I oh, I don't do that uh, today. I hold it back and uh, I want us to to be uh, to go in in the, a normal way to do this to date each other first. And uh, he lived uh, just uh, s some few houses from where I live, live, and that was also very surprising. And uh, so he said that uh, I should ask me if I wanted to come home to him and drink uh, coffee with him. And I say yes, and and then he had already. I he I maybe should have known that, but he had uh, make a message to me on my telephone, and uh, then he he wrote me 
he, where he lived also, the address. So he was really into uh, to meet me. It was like like what I did and say was something that he he had waiting for the sign to come. And uh, he also wanted to know my history, he say, and he he wanted uh, us to sit together and I should tell him my story. And I say, uh, and he say that uh, it it must be a little time for to hear your story, and we sit by. Only you and me, and and talk about it. And I ask him uh, if he if if he accepted to do a podcast recording that where he asked me questions of uh, uh, spirit things, uh, what he have uh, uh, wondering about questions. So we, this um, man seems better than those other before. Uh, and um, so, but the, the, the question I have is that he's only 42 years old. He's in the same age as my daughter, and uh, if he want to be together with a woman that don't give him any children, and uh, but maybe he can't have any children, so so that he don't look for that, and um, look, and I hope he, he look for for um, the spiritual things in me. And uh, he is very handsome man. <laughs> he uh, he looked like a, a Muslim man, but I have not, I didn't ask him because, uh, but he have blue eyes and and black hair. So the eyes is very beautiful uh, that is uh, uh, with black hair and blue eyes. It's very strange combination. And I say to him that I like his eyes. And he say he like my eyes. Uh, and uh, that maybe it was a lie from his side, but uh, but I told him, and uh, I I talked to him in a flirting way. So I I am thinking that it's maybe that it's maybe fail again, but uh, uh, I should not care about it. It's better to say that. I told him. I like to say uh, the truth about people. And I say that he had beautiful eyes because he had it. And and we hug and he hold my hand and it was I wanted to show him that I am okay to be with him. So uh, I will see what's happened, but it it was uh, every time it's showing up a man that is interested in me, I'll be so surprised. But I have told you that that uh, the I have already got it from heaven that uh, my husband, my real husband, 
uh, sending from heaven. He should come in that time when I am not, uh, that I am not uh, so nice looking anymore. And uh, that I have much, much issues with my body. Because uh, my husband from heaven should not look look at me in that way that he wants some something very sexy uh, nice looking in all kind of outside showing but he the real man should come when i don't have the the, the outside is not so good anymore and it, uh, it was it is what it is today, but but uh, God uh, and heaven say that my man should love me for what's inside me and not what is outside me. And now I am in that uh, moment uh, and uh, that my body doesn't work at all. But I am very, uh, I'm up in the highest top of uh, of um, my spiritual things. The the spirit is very nice, uh, but my outside is not so nice anymore. And so. He is coming in the right time, but it have been other men that have coming that I was thinking in the right time. And and they have told me that they have felt this uh, energy from God coming from me. But then after a while they don't go for it then they go for what the world are saying and not what the spirit are saying so i would see i i i am a, a little in love with this man and hope it's working out but in the same time i have experience of it that they then the devil is whisper in their ears and and the world showing something uh, to trick them to go away from me and not, and not be what God wants them to be. So I will see this man but I'm ready to marry him and but it's not so fast because I want to know him uh, and be safe in that way. But uh, truly safe can't I be. No one can be that because uh, they can change their mind, be another person. And you think that he or she is the perfect one and then sometimes later on you find out that you married the devil one of the devil's child and and you have failed again with uh, to find you the the perfect partner for the rest of your life and of course they are not perfect because uh, there is always some uh, assessment you need to do to to come to be together for a lifetime uh, it's always be that if uh, if you say that you are perfect to each other you you lie or you don't understand what it is to be because it's always an assessment 
something you have to improve and take away and to fit into the other. But you should not kill yourself by change your way total. If you find yourself be erase your own will and what you were before you met this person, then it's time to think about to not be with that person. Because it's not meaning that they should change you so total so you be another person. You need to have your born with character and um, sometimes you need to to take away li a little of it uh, and let it not be so strong uh, from you inside you but you still should have a little of it but not so it take over another person it is very hard to be together with someone. It is a work to do before you really, before you be married to that person. You, you really need to think about it. But uh, if he, this man is going to be interested and want to marry me, I I think I am that kind of person that I love to be in love. I, so I fool myself sometimes. So I have to be very, very careful because it's not uh, the body things that should be in my life. It It is the spirit thing. He need to be much in spirit also. And maybe he, he is. I don't know. But uh, I wanted to tell you that now I start to meet another man. He that helped me, he was he lived together with, with he lives with together with another woman so he is not free for me so and uh, i was a little sad about it but not so much sad because I, I, it was not my kind of man but i i could have accepted if he was sent from god but it was not he. So I hope this third man in, in start uh, 2023 that I got three men now that uh, want to be together with me. Not uh, this man that come and help me, but two other want to be with me. But the first man was for the money that I don't have. And, uh, and but this man is not uh, about money, at least. And I don't know what it is, but I think that he had been told from some somewhere that his uh, wife should come and sit in his taxi. And I, I think I say all the right things to him. So that's what he's going for. And uh, have given me his address and telephone number and he hold my hand. So he, he and we hug in front of other people. So he's not frightened to do that. He don't hide that we like each other. And that is a very 
good sign that he is a real person. But you know the the devil is very tricky. So I will see what will happen. And it's very strange when I was to the dentist to cut and change the teeth that he came in the same time. So uh, I'm wondering if God wants to say something that I should not be careful that I should be careful with my teeth. I have to think about it very much. And maybe it's coming a spirit that will tell me what to do with this, with the teeth. Not with the man, because I'm not uh, frightened about him. Uh, I am okay with this man. I feel like uh, I will tell him if we be together for a long time I will tell him that I felt like like we have been together before he and I and maybe we have been together he and I that's why I felt it like that I felt like I felt like we were a child we were two two children that was close together. So it maybe can be that we have been once a brother and a sister in some way, or like siblings, or we could have been very close once before. It felt like that. I felt like, uh, I saw like we were in the sand, uh, like uh, playing together in the sand. It's uh, maybe six, seven years old. I felt like that with him. So it feels so natural to walk hand in hand with him. We see, uh, only time will tell. And uh, it's good to have, have a, a man to walk hand in hand and not walk like an old cup, couple that I hold his arm. It's enough to hold his hand and walk. So it looks very normal in that way so I will see what will happen and I tell you but I'm uh, I'm a little in love in that way so I can take it away if it certainly be something that I don't like I don't sell my heart then I have sell my heart to God and that's it. So thank you for listening. And God bless you.